Hello friends, in this video we are going to compare IQ Z6 4G vs Samsung Galaxy F13 in detailing. We also given details about other important competitor phone at same price segment in the end, so let's compare. Firstly we are going to talk about the highlight of the phones then we are going in deep comparison. First we talk about the most important part of phone hardware. Here is the detail about most important part CPU. If we talk about GPU then, Z6 4G have Adreno 610 and Galaxy F13 have Mali G52. If we talk about chipset then, Qualcomm Snapdragon 680 is available in Z6 4G and Samsung Exynos 8 Octa 850 is available in Galaxy F13. Talking about RAM then, Z6 4G have three options are available, with 4GB, 6GB, 8GB RAM, and Galaxy F13 have only one options, which have 4GB RAM. If we talking about internal memory then, Z6 4G have 128GB storage and Galaxy F13 have two options are available, which have 64GB 128GB storage. In both phone expandable memory is up to 1TB. Both phone have same Android V12 operating system. Here is the complete details about battery. Let's see the information about display. If we talk about display type then, Z6 4G have AMOLED and Galaxy F13 have a LCD display. Display size Z6 4G have 6.44 inches and Galaxy F13 have 6.6 inches. Aspect ratio same in both phone and it's 20 ratio 9. Display resolution in Z6 4G 1080x2400 and in Galaxy F13 there will be 1080x2408 we can see. Screen to body ratio, Z6 4G have 84.49% while Galaxy F13 it will be 82.68%. Refresh rate in, Z6 4G it will be 90Hz and Galaxy F13 it's 60Hz. If we talk about PPI density, then, Z6 4G have 409 pixels per inch and in Galaxy F13 there will be 400 pixels per inch. Let's talk about brightness then in, Z6 4G it's 1300 nits and in Galaxy F13 it's 480 nits. Now let's see the complete detail of body of both phones. Let's see the detail about our favorite features camera. Friends, first of all talk about rear camera then we can see three camera in Z6 4G which is primary camera, macro camera and finally depth camera and Galaxy F13 also have a three camera which is primary camera, ultra wide angle camera and finally depth camera. If we talk about video camera then Z6 4G have 7 and Galaxy F13 have 6. Different types of features are available. Now let's talk about the front selfie camera, then in. Z6 4G have single camera can be seen which have two different features are available. And in Galaxy F13 have also single camera can be seen which have three features are available. Now, we check the detail about dimensions. Talking about the length of both the phones. Z6 4G have 6.33 inch and in Galaxy F13 it's 6.51 inch. Width, in Z6 4G have 2.9 inch and Galaxy F13 it's 3.03 inch. If we talk about thickness then, Z6 4G have 0.33 inch and in Galaxy F13 it's 0.37 inch which is bigger than Z6 4G. Now let's talk about weight, then, Z6 4G it's 182 grams and Galaxy F13 it has 207 grams which is heavier than Z6 4G.
Let's see the secondary features of both phones. Talking about colors option than Z6 4G have two colors and Galaxy F13 have three colors options available. Here is the detail about network, Bluetooth, GPS and Wi-Fi. Friends, now let's talk about pros and cons than. Aiku Z6 4G have 7 prawns and 2 cons and if we talk about Samsung Galaxy F13 then we can see 7 prawns and 1 cons. Both phone have a same. 3 variant. Z6 4G is in 4GB RAM 128GB storage at 13,999 rupees. 6GB RAM 128GB storage at 15,499 rupees. 8GB RAM 128GB storage at 16,999 rupees. And if we talk about Galaxy F13 is in 4GB RAM 64GB storage at 11,999 rupees. 4GB RAM 128GB storage at 12,999 rupees available. Finally, talking about result then. In performances 6 4G it's ahead. In display 6 4G it's ahead. In main camera both phone are same. In front, selfie camera both phone are same. Friends, now if we talk about the other competitor at same price. First one is, Oppo A76 second as TechnoSpark 9 third one as OnePlus Nord CE2 Lite 5G and the last one is Xiaomi Redmi Note 11S. Also, details about all this competitor phone is available in description. If you like our video then please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.